this is it. Realme 11. Realme has saved the best for last. Siyempre, paan nagtataka ka? Doon ba si Pro? Pro Plus? Ano si base variant? Where's the 11? This is it. And the specs on this thing is just halimaw. Una una, 67 watt. Charging super vokta po yan. 5,000 milliampers of battery. 108 MP Pro Light camera. 108 MP base variant. 90 hertz super AMOLED display. Helio G99. Gaming chipset, 400,000 points, and two to benchmark. And of course, Pogi rin siya. Realme truly saved the best for last. Realme 11. Kaya, without further ado, let us unbox this beast. Tapos si Benz, and you're watching Unbox Series. Ooh. K standard Realme box. Yellow and black. Parang hindi kami. Sino ba nang gaya ng una? Joke. Okay, yeah. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Dare to leap, a leap. Huh? Uh, okay. We've got here the SIM ejector pin. Mga papel. Safety guide. Quick guide. At cardboard. At yung kanyang jelly case pala. Uy, bilog. Yan si 11. Speaking of 11, how much na lang kaya sa 11 that 11 to? Kapal ng mukha mo! Bagong labas, sale agad. Guys, look at that gorgeous looking phone. Look at that watch! Oh, di ba? Tinan mo yung ano niya. Guys, tinan niya yung watch ko. Bagong bago. Yellow din. From Swatch. Stong, tumaas yung ano ni Swatch sales. Hindi, wow. But yes, look at the rings around the camera on this phone. It does resemble a watch. Pero man, yan. Underneath, we're getting a massive battery. 67 watt super VOOC charger. And of course, so kanyang USB Type-C cable. Now, the Realme 11 is a gorgeous looking phone. Not only gorgeous, but also luxurious. The back is glossy. Kumikinang. May parang stardust effect sa likod. Tapos kapag tinatama ng ilaw, look at that. That blue prism effect at the back. Really beautiful. Parang sarap nitong i-dial. Very minimal yung likod niya. You got here two cameras. One, two. Yung isa wala pong camera. May bilog lang po siya. And of course, the LED flash. 108 MP. Pidaf. Ayun. The shape of the phone. It's very trendy. Flat back, flat sides. Ka-shape niya si you know who. And look at the front. Oh my god. Sobrang sagad na ng kanyang display. Grabe na yung bezels nito. Sobrang sagad na sagad na. And you still get that signature Realme upper left punch hole corner placement. Yes, si Realme po yung madalas mag ganyan. Upper left corner lagi. Kasi yung madalas is yung nasa center. Pero yun, no, napansin ko, si Realme 11 series ay medyo more rectangular na than rounded. Not like the previous models. Which is a good thing, no? Kasi nga, iba-iba na yung tsura niya, iba na yung experience niyo. Kung madalas kayo mag Realme talaga na phone, this is gonna be a different experience already. And I think you're gonna like this super sagad look na kanyang display. Now, going to the sides, we got here the power button, volume rocker stats niya. Sa ilalim yung kanyang Uy, may headphone jack pa. Microphone, USB Type-C port, and the speaker. Left side is kanyang SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot plus may micro SD card slot for expandability. On top of the 256 gigabytes of internal storage, guys. 256 gigabytes na po siya. Yun na po yung standard ngayon, 2023. Hindi na pa uso ang 128 ngayon. Wow, look at this. Baba. Oh, ganda ng pagkasagad niya. And look at the animations when you're opening apps. Parang nagmamadali siya. Oh. Ang bilis niya tingnan. Holy sheesh! Ang smooth. This is by the way 90Hz refresh rate lang pero it does look like a 120Hz refresh rate. Swiping, scrolling is just so smooth. Ang bilis. Parang feeling ko ang bilis-bilis nito. Ano to? Parang it kind of resembles like a very high-end mamahaling phone. Now this is how you do an OS. Ganito dapat yung OS experience guys. Realme UI. It looks to be so minimalistic. Although meron pang mga bloatware pa rin dito. Pero yung kanyang UI is just so smooth, so fast. Animations are just so snappy. And everything about the interface is just so minimalistic. Wala masyadong clutter. Ang diling intindihin. Realme UI is probably one of the best. Maybe even better than Oxygen OS. Para po siyang stock Android experience. And this is something that you'll only get sa mga matatagal na brand guys. So yung uh, software support, ang ganda po. Stability, patches, fixes, and things like that. Dito sa Realme, you can actually experience a high-end flagship-like phone. Kasi nga guys, yung mga iba, uh, they're mostly focusing on the specs, beefier processor, GPU, mas malaking battery and storage and things like that. Pero yung software, hmm, pa update lang and that's it. For Realme, now this one, you really feel that flagship experience right here. Parang feeling ko tulad 30k, 40k yung phone ko while I'm just scrolling right here. Now, syempre, ano ba yung Antutu benchmark nito? Oh, by the way, Helio G99 gaming processor will give you 404,000 points and Antutu benchmark. That is pretty fast, pretty powerful. And sa gaming, syempre, best friends talaga si Moonton at si Realme. Kasi nga yung optimization sa settings niya ay ganito na ultra graphics, super refresh rate right out of the box. 
Pero I highly doubt na abot sa 90fps kasi nga this is a very heavy uh, setting, ultra graphics, and 400,000 points na to benchmark. Pero yun, naglaro kami ng Mobile Legends, and this is how it looks like. Oh my God, smooth na smooth. Feeling ko talaga mag-best friends talaga itong si Moonton at si Real Me. Kasi nga, matagal na actually si Real Me na lumalabas sa, sa mga Mobile Legends events, and uh, that is why you can actually feel their samahan dito. It is actually one of the smoothest experience sa Mobile Legends I've played for this kind of pricing. Also, ang ganda ng graphics, no? Kasi nga, naka-super AMOLED na po siya. Kailan 90 hertz na po siya. Pero kasi, impressive na po yan sa Realme 11 na base variant. Dahil kasi, madalas IPS. Ngayon, Realme has given us super AMOLED display. Oh, by the way, nakalimutan sabihin nyo kanyang display specs. Ito na pala yung specs sa display. The display is a 6.4 inch, 1080p, 90 hertz refresh rate, super AMOLED display. Na meron pang Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Flagship na flagship talaga. And all I can say is this display, this display right here is just so beautiful. But whether it be playing games, watching videos on YouTube, Netflix, ang ganda po, sobrang clear, sobrang bright, sobrang kanda ng color, very nice. And of course, so kanyang display yung pagkarektangal niya is just really perfect for content consumption. YouTube consumption, perfect po siya sa 16 by 9 watching. Okay. Now, going back to gaming, ito na po yung kanyang Call of Duty gameplay. Oh my god, ang smooth din pala. Kaya lang po, ito lang po yung settings niya. Medium graphics at high frame rates. Napansin namin, sobrang smooth ng kanyang itsura. Pero kasi napansin namin, medyo nag-frame drums ng konti kapag masyado marami nangyari sa screen. Which is pretty okay. Madalas naman talaga ganito nangyari kapag marami masyado nangyari sa screen. Too many things to render and things like that. But yes, ang important, nag-enjoy kami when playing on this phone sa Call of Duty. Sa Genshin Impact, this is how it looks like. Lowest graphics, 60 FPS, enabled. Pero guys, 40 40 to 50 yung napapansin namin dito. This game is really that heavy. But then again, kung mahilig ka na mag Genshin Impact, kung, you know, you're really eyeing for the Realme 11, ito po yung kaya niya. So, kayo na bahala kung decide kung gusto niya siyang bilhin or not. For Genshin Impact ha, kasi nga sa Mobile Legends talagang sobrang, sobrang okay siya. Sa camera naman, ito, ito talaga yung kaya niyang forte. Si Realme is one of the best in terms of camera, image processing, color, and things like that. And even the background blur. Guys, ito na po. The images we got with the 108MP camera, the first thing we noticed is that the, the skin tones, the color is just, oh, ganda na agad. Ang pogi ko. Makinis yung aking balat. And of course, maganda rin yung contrast. Controlled yung lighting. Even our house looks so nice on the photos right here. Pero yun, hindi po siya color accurate. So if you're looking for a color accurate camera, this is not it. Because what this thing is doing is, is that it is enhancing the image. Para hindi na kayo masyad mag-edit. But yeah, look at the pictures of the flowers, the plants. Ah, ang ganda ba? Ang ganda na color. Lakas na thing. Anything very colorful on this camera. Panalo rin yung mga subjects na tao kasi nga ang smooth tingnan, mukha silang artista. Nice beautification. If you don't like beautification, pwede mo siyang i-turn off. And look at that background blur. Ang ganda ng background blur. Sobrang convincing. Okay rin siya for low light, guys. Okay na okay. Okay rin siya for indoor shots, no? Like this one. This was shot inside of our studio. And wow, it looks pretty nice. Very detailed naman siya. Kaya lang, pag medyo madilim na masyado, you have to use this setting right here, which is the night mode. With this, you have to wait a little bit after taking the picture. Because it's gathering more information and pictures during that time. To give you this kind of image quality, meron po siyang street mode, 24mm and 72mm, which is parang 1x and 3x zoom. Ayun. Got a 180MP mode for a much higher resolution mode. Meron po siyang pro mode dito, so you even get pro features sa kanyang camera. My dual video na rin slow-mo time-lapse and things like that. It is a fully stacked camera. And what about the selfies on this thing? The selfies, guys, ito po yung megapixel. Guys, meron po siya 16 megapixel selfie camera at the front. And this is how it looks like. The selfie at the front is exceptionally good. This is also the 40 of Realme, no? Magaling talaga siya sa mga selfie selfies. And if you like seeing the results right here, feeling ko magkakaroon ka na maraming selfie photos sa inyong phone kapag kayo ito yung binili nyo. Kasi nakaka-addict siya. Kasi mukha talaga artista dito. Payat yung mukha, makinis. Maputi. Now what about the video? The video on this thing is like this. So, ito na yung kanyang selfie video. 1080p po yan at ito yung aking bahay. Aming bahay pala. Hindi pa nag-break. <laughs> mag po kami ni Shang. And yes, uh, makinis yung mukha ko habang nag- 1080p po. 1080p video to. So yeah, let me just do a quick walk right here. Okay. Ah, ito naman yung kanyang rear camera. And as you can see, very open naman siya for vlogging. Let's do a quick walk. Uh, 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 uh,
What do you think? At the end of the Realme 11, ayan na po yung pricing guys. The Realme 11, 8256 is only 13,999 pesos SRP. Pero swerte nyo, meron tayong early bird pricing and offers So Realme official TikTok shop. Sa November 9, starting at 8pm, until November 17 only, meron po siyang 2,000 pesos off discount. Which means 11,999 na lang po siya. Also available siya sa TikTok page ni James Afante. November 9, 8pm to 12 midnight, 2,000 pesos off din siya. And available din siya sa Realme eStore. November 9, 8pm until November 17 only, 2,000 pesos off din. Sa Shopee flagship store din, November 11, midnight hanggang November 17 only, pero 1,700 pesos off lang siya doon. Sa Lazada naman, November 11, starting midnight up to November 13 only, 2,000 pesos naman yung kanyang discount. Ito naman, kung ayaw ng online, gusto nyo ng face-to-face -face interactions, kung nilang mga sales. So Realme store nila sa mga malls, November 10 to 19. If you buy this phone, meron kang libreng Tech Life 4.5 liter see-through air fryer worth 2,799 pesos. That is all participating stores nationwide. Meron din siyang mystery box promo duration November 10 to 12. Get a chance to win any of the following. Isang Tech Life 800 watt power blender worth 2,599 pesos. A Tech Life 2-in-1 humidifier worth 1,599 pesos. Or isang Tech Life electric kettle worth 1, 1,299 pesos. This is select participating stores nationwide lang. And they are also offering 0% installment programs, credit card up to 9 months, Skyro up to 12 months, and home credit up to 12 months. Realme has truly saved the best for last with the Realme 11. Check it out right now sa mga e-commerce nila. And of course, baka magkal. Live selling kami nito. Bawal ko sabihin nito guys. Ayun na lang. Magagalit kasi si Papa YouTube. Pero yun, lagi man nag-live sa mga 8.8, 9.9, 10.10, 11.11. That is from 8pm to 11pm. We always get the best prices, guys. So if you wanna watch us, follow na. Dun sa? And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, mag-subscribe ka na. Hit the like button so that you don't miss any of my great content. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Uhu.